Hey guys, so you already know what time it is. Today we're taking our wisdom dive into Proverbs chapter 10. So Proverbs chapter 10 has about 32 verses, so I'm not going to really spend time reading the entire chapter. I think it's going to be much more beneficial to just go through the key points that were addressed throughout the chapter because really much of the chapter is a comparison between um, two sides or opposites. Okay, so Proverbs chapter 10 really compares and contrasts the lives and destinies of the righteous versus the wicked and the wise versus the foolish. And right off the bat, Proverbs chapter 10 starts off with letting us know that a wise son brings joy to his father, whereas a foolish son brings grief to his mother. And that lets us know that, hey, our wisdom or our folly can impact others and not just ourselves. In the same way that our wisdom benefit others, our folly can grieve others as well. Wealth attained through wickedness does not have any lasting value, but those who live right before God will be rescued from death. Being right with God brings us a benefit that money cannot buy. God will not allow the soul of the righteous to become hungry, but he definitely will reject the cravings and desires of the wicked. People who are lazy and have idle hands will always be poor, but those who work hard, their reward will be prosperity. Don't expect prosperity where there is no hard work. And I think a very important lesson here is to know the season that you're in. Doing work in the right season is a very wise thing to do. Again, here it takes us back to Proverbs chapter 6, verses 6 to 8 where Solomon had advised us to take a look at the ant and be wise like the ant, because the ant was a representation of hard work and diligence who gathered their food in the summer, which was a time of harvest. But here we learn that the lazy person who sleeps through the season of opportunities or harvest is a disgrace. The godly is showered with blessings, but the mouth of the wicked, they conceal their violent intentions. The one who lives right lives a memorable and pleasant reputation. But for the wicked, if anybody remembers the wicked at all, the memory of the wicked is an unpleasant one. The wise is humble enough to receive instruction and correction, but the fools that reject it, they always fall. People who walk in integrity have confidence and have no fear of any sin being discovered. But those who follow a crooked path will be exposed. Those who do not take wickedness or evil seriously, they cause trouble. The godly person speak words that give life to others, but the words of the wicked, they bring harm and they take away life. Hatred brings trouble, but love is quick to forgive the wrongdoings of others. The words of the wise reveal their wisdom, but the one who lacks wisdom must be corrected in pain. That means they will be made to learn if they can learn, but they're avoiding learning. The wise stores up knowledge for the future and keeps discipline and correction, which keeps them in the path of life. But the foolish rejects wisdom, faces destruction, and goes astray. Someone who is wealthy has a measure of protection, and the earnings of the godly enhances their life. But poverty leads to destruction, and the wages of the wicked is sin. Don't believe the words that come out of the mouth of someone who hides the hatred because really they're hiding their true intentions and they spread slander, which makes them a fool. The one who talks a lot and rarely listens, sins. But it's always wise to speak less and to keep your mouth shut. The words of the godly are treasured and valued like sterling silver because they benefit and encourage others. But the heart of the wicked is worthless and fools will be punished. Riches that comes with no hardship or sorrow or pain are definitely a blessing from God. Fools enjoy doing evil, but the wise enjoy wisdom and avoid evil at all costs. Now, whatever the wicked fears most, they will definitely get, and they will be swept away in times of trouble because they are unstable and lack foundation. But the wishes of the wise are always granted because they have a foundation that lasts forever. Now, I love verses 26 because it says, just like vinegar is sour to the teeth and smoke to the eyes, both of which are an irritation, so too is someone who is lazy. A lazy person is an irritation, especially to someone who gives them work to do. Honoring God definitely brings long life. 
but the price for wickedness is a shortened life. The destiny of a godly person is gladness. They are secure, they are immovable. But for the wicked, all they get is disappointment for their desires. They have nothing to show for their work and they will be removed. Now chapter 10 ends in verses 31 to 32 with a great comparison between the words that are spoken by someone who's wise or godly versus a wicked or foolish person. And it tells us that the godly person, they know what to speak. They know what's acceptable to say, and they are known for the words that they speak. But for a wicked person, their words are crooked and twisted, and they lose their ability to speak because they've misused their ability to speak by speaking crooked and twisted things. So those were some of the key points after 10 addressed. Again, like I said, it's a great comparison between the lives and destinies of a wicked person versus a godly person or a wise person versus a foolish person. So thanks for watching. Drop your comments down below. Let me know what were some of the points that you pulled out of chapter 10 and join me back here tomorrow for another daily wisdom dive where we take a look at Proverbs chapter 11. Bye guys.